The indicators of the COVID-19 pandemic curve of the crushing fifth wave appear to be declining as St. Lucia attempts to emerge from the heady days of the prolonged outbreak. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George, in the latest weekly update, skewed towards living with the virus, provided insight into the overall numbers. As of February 21st, 2022, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 22,545 cases in country, with 1,048 active cases presently. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 24.9 per 100,000 population per day, which represents a 35% reduction from last week, with a 21% average testing positivity rate and a transmission rate of 1.1. We have noted a total of 358 COVID deaths. We have 24 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital. One case is critically ill and one case is severely ill. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16th, 2021, 9,416 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 143 cases per day. Women account for 58% of the cases and 62 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded, 63% of which is male. The island continues to lodge cases, but the weekly average is down. However, lives are being lost, especially among people with underlying conditions. Nevertheless, there is a pivot towards normal operations with a caveat on the importance of adherence to public health protocols. The majority of the deaths are COVID-19 related deaths due to other associated chronic health conditions. Tourists account for 4.7% of the cases diagnosed for the past seven days. Although the cases diagnosed are noted island-wide, the main areas affected are Castries, Grosile, Viewfort, and Babano. This week, although we continue to register cases, the seven-day average approximation continues to indicate a downward trend in the epidemiological curve. We note reductions in most of the public health indicators. As we move towards living safely with COVID-19, workplaces have been authorized to continue full operations. Most services have been restored to normal operations. We appeal to all organizations, both public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. The CMO, while reminding the public of the guidelines, says authorities are working with the various sectors to reduce restrictive protocols without increasing health risks. Vaccines are an indispensable tool in the pandemic fight. Presently, we are experiencing a delay in the shipment of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine and therefore it is not available at the various vaccination sites. However, the Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations and death. The booster vaccine is also available for persons who have been fully vaccinated for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. On the eve of independent celebrations, St. Lucians are reminded to mask up, avoid large crowds, maintain safe physical distancing, quarantine if they are in contact with a COVID-19 case, and isolate if they test positive. Persons with flu-like symptoms should seek medical care and avoid contact with other people. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.